you must be so thrilled like with the response the movie's been getting and you're, I mean, you you must have, must have had a few chances now to see it like with a proper audience and that must be such a thrill to get to do yeah we we were really lucky because i mean warner brothers has been great because they they've sort of been had they've had these sort of screenings so i saw it um like six months ago and then uh, we premiered at Toronto and, and I, I managed to see it in this incredible like theatre with an audience and that was quite something. I don't think I could watch, I feel like I can only really watch anything I'm a part of like once and potentially twice, but if you start watching anything past two times, you then start taking it apart. So I'm gonna dip out of the premiere tonight. <laughs> yeah. Fair enough. <laughs> How is it for you like yeah, when you've, finished shooting however, you know, however long ago and then you come back and you actually finally see the finished thing like is that always like is, is that quite a strange experience or is it kind of does it turn out how you imagined that it would or does it look quite different from how you kind of envisaged it on set well do you know what I feel like it, it, it's always such an interesting thing as, as an actor you know because you do sort of come in and your your you know your job is to kind of service whatever is written and then you have no control over like how it turns out with with something like Emily I mean the first time I was I, I found it so arresting watching it for the first time. You know the score, the edit. Like it, there was something so, uh, and I feel like this term is overused, but something so visceral about it that you have no. You know we all know that that an edit and and all of that it kind of makes a movie. So you have no. You can be doing something and 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 you know think it's one thing, but it will always end up being something entirely different, you know, once you see it. So there is something I'm always, I feel like there's people I know that don't ever want to watch anything. But I'm always quite intrigued because I'm always sort of, I always want to know whether or not the version that I've got in my head is what it's going to be. I mean, it never is because my version is always, they're like poor man's version. But it's, uh, it's always, it's always, I feel like something like this, it was, I, I think, if if anyone can see it on a big screen, it's 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 quite the experience for two hours to watch it. Yeah, sure. I mean, kind of going back to I guess like the production process, like how was it for you, kind of I guess figuring out the relationship between Wayman and Emily because obviously it you know, changes so much over the course of the yeah. film. I imagine that must have been a really interesting thing for the two of you to kind of get grips with. Yeah, I mean, and as well, I feel like Emma is you know if you've seen the film, she's just phenomenal. So, so going to work every day and, and, and getting to, oh my God, I sound like such an actor, but like getting to work with her, um, she, 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 she sort of transports you somewhere else. So, I, so much of it, Frances, you know, she had, she's been writing this, or she started writing it, I think about 10 years ago. And so she's had so much time with these characters that she was very, very clear about what she needed and what she wanted and then, then gave sort of free reign for us to explore our own things. But, but I think if anyone's sort of lucky enough to do, to work with, with, with Emma Mackey, then, then yeah, do it. Cause she, she sort of takes, she, she takes you off into all these different. So I feel like we didn't really have to do an awful lot of work. She just sort of shows up and then you just have to sort of meet her in a way. So it was, yeah, it was, it was great, great fun. And it's like, it felt so, loaded and um, fiery at times, which hopefully I, I feel, yeah, hopefully has made it into the film. Yeah, I mean, it's like certainly early on, I thought it is quite sort of confrontational between the yeah. two characters and obviously getting to do all those scenes in French must have been great fun. Yeah, it really was. But I think, but I think that, that what was so great as well, you know, Francis doesn't really speak French. So they were written by Christopher Hampton and you know, I think Frances knew what, what happens in the scenes, but was directing them. She would just watch the monitor and, and it would all be about feeling. And I think there's, there's, there's such an incredible, uh, it's such an incredible way of telling a story and about adding an extra layer of, um, of roadblocks to this thing uh, to make it even more contained, even more kind of confined. Um, yeah, I think, it's, I think it, they, they, were, they were great fun doing those scenes. I guess kind of just taking me back to the whole question of the audience, like what are you hoping that audiences take away from the movie? What do you think the experience is even like for folks watching it? <laughs> Can you imagine I'm like, I hope it's really nice. <laughs> um, oh, I, I don't know. I think, I think, I feel like we, I feel like actors always get asked this, but I, 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 I don't want to sort of, um, I hope, I hope that, I hope that people leave with a sort of 
uh, he, Francis has sort of mission with this was to humanize Emily Bronte and to make her a real person. She's become this sort of mythical, to humanize her and through all the experiences in her life and through where she sort of sat within her family dynamic. And so I hope it sort of speaks to people because I think even though it is a period drama, it's incredibly contemporary. And, and I hadn't quite realized that when I first read it, but, but when I sort of read it the second time and then sort of shooting it, you go, God, this is, you know, I mean, the world has sort of changed, but these are still the same dynamics that we all, you know, partake in. These are the same experience that we all partake in. So, so yeah, so I hope, I hope it sort of speaks to people on a, on a human level.